on the first day of the month of Azar, Yaksha spoke kind words of welcome to the cloud, to which offerings of fresh kutja flowers had been made. The great Sanskrit scholar Kalidas was the first one to imagine above land navigation. In his famous Sanskrit kavya, Meghadoot, Yaksha instructs Megha how to navigate from Ramagiri to Alkapuri. The word navigation is believed to be derived from the Sanskrit word nav means ship and gati means speed. Navigation is the science of charting one's own route from point A to point B with respect to known references both in terms of space and time. Finding out the position of an object is made possible by navigation. History has seen gradual improvement in the navigation techniques. In 14th through 16th century, apparatus like cross staff, hourglass and compass were used. But longer journeys required more sophisticated equipment that were invented from 17th to 20th centuries, which rapidly progressed from chronometer to radar to radio communication and now to space-based GPS. The IRNSS, a giant leap towards self-reliant navigation. The IRNSS, Indian Regional Navigation Satellite System, is an autonomous system implemented by Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO. It is a constellation of seven satellites. The first launch is scheduled for third quarter of 2012 and the full constellation will be completed by 2014. These satellites will be in a combination of geostationary and geosynchronous orbit to provide large footprint. The major objective of IRNSS is to develop a navigation system that will provide the user of the system an accurate position and time on a 24 by 7 all-weather basis. IRNSS satellites will be developed by the ISRO Satellite Center ISAAC based in Bangalore. Salient features of IRNSS are It will provide a position accuracy that is better than 20 meters covering a distance of 1,500 kilometers. It will be available round the clock under all weather conditions under the direct and full control of the government of India. The IRNSS has three major segments. Space segment consisting of the satellites and their downlink signals. The ground segment consisting of a navigation control center and its associated facilities like the timing facility, the ranging network, working in tandem with the satellite control facility, and the user segment, consisting of signal frequency and dual frequency users. The space segment consists of seven satellites. Three satellites are to be placed in the geostationary equatorial orbit, GEO, at 32.5, 83 and 131.5 degree east longitudes. Four satellites will be placed in a geosynchronous orbit, GSO, with two satellites crossing the equator at 55 degrees east longitude, and two more will be placed in an orbit crossing the equator at 111.75 degrees east longitude. These satellites will broadcast the navigation signals and will help the user to fix the position in two different frequencies at L5 band and S band respectively. IRNSS satellites are designed around I1K bus. The dry mass of the satellite will be around 600 kilograms and lift off mass of 1425 kilograms. The IRNSS navigation payload transmits SPS and RS signals. IRNSS satellite has three axis control stabilization for providing a very stable frequency reference. Each IRNSS satellite is equipped with three rubidium atomic frequency standards RAFS. The navigation payload that will be responsible for generating the navigation downlink signals is being developed by the Space Application Center and the BOD. Two, one, zero. The These satellites will be launched on board the Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle, PSLV,
from the Satish Dhawan Space Center, Sri Harikota. The IRNSS space segment will be continuously monitored, controlled and managed by the IRNSS ground segment. It will perform two basic functions, health monitoring and maintenance of IRNSS constellation, facilitating computing and generating position, navigation and timing data broadcast by the satellites. The functions are accomplished by navigation control center and satellite control facility established by ISTRAC Bangalore and MCF Hassan respectively. The data flow of navigation is from various sources, 17 range integrity monitoring stations and 4 CDMA ranging stations. The IRNSS network time is maintained by high precision clocks located at IRNSS timing center. The navigation software developed by Isaac Bangalore utilizes the data to generate broadcast navigation parameters at INC. These navigation parameters are uplinked to the satellite through the Satellite Earth Station located at MCF, Hassan and Bhopal. The user segment consists of single and dual frequency receivers on a wide variety of platforms. The receivers can vary from a simple handheld single frequency receiver type to highly sophisticated dual frequency system that provides position, velocity and time information to the user. IRNSS has several applications in the field of transportation through air, water and land. Geographic data collection for mapping, surveying, scientific atmospheric studies, tectonic plate movements and deformations, precision agriculture, town planning, fleet movement, search and rescue operations and business solutions through location-based services like banking, tourism, etc. IRNSS will be able to meet the ever-increasing demand of navigation information for civilian and strategic users. After GPS of USA, GLONASS of Russia, India will enter the League of Nations providing independent navigational services by 2014. The sole dependency on the other navigation systems can be reduced when IRNSS is in operation. IRNSS will pave the way for greater cooperation with other nations while ensuring interoperable and compatible features with other GNSS systems. Yaksha today would have been very pleased to use IRNSS to guide MEGA for navigation as it provides more accurate and all weather guidance. The IRNSS, a giant leap towards self-reliant navigation.